Hey, the right skin too. Depending on your preference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the best skin in the game, free. <laughs> in the game. <laughs> in the game, in the game free. Across it. All right, all right. With the music, one way. Oh. Angel. All right, we're we're camping now. Noku's waiting on this ground. <laughs> That's okay. Fireball, push off the stage. This could be bad. Okay, actually no, they're good. They're good. Yeah, Noku oh, didn't want to press so early, especially like Octo Slash, Sephiroth in general, but Octo Slash specifically are like really hard to mess with unless you have a potent counter. But as the characters like PT, like it's it's not as easy as just like you know Ivy Sword down air go burr. Yeah. Like I, that sword is that long for a reason. Like, the Masamune is insane. Uh, with Sephiroth, uh, may not have with buttons, they do have with, like, putting characters in situations and setup. That that character is, I think, the most optimal and functionally with set play, as this is about to happen to, to Noku right now with, this, with the bombs on him. Yeah, well timed oh, air dodge, but still not escaping the full shadow play. Yeah. One of them at least gotta hit you. Especially with four of those on you, ooh man, it's a dangerous Scary. spot. Up air. I think one of Sephiroth's best tools is that up air. It's so huge. Good interrupts in the recovery. Yeah, Sephiroth has a lot of there it is. Yeah. yeah. Re grabbing the ledge is never gonna be good and Noku making sure that Zane uh, pays for their for their crime. Yeah, Zane tried to delay the recovery with that wing though, but like all Noku had to do was wait. Yeah. <laughs> Completely oh, no avoid punish. the ledge situation. Yes, stop smash. Mega Flare covers platforms. Sephiroth does such a good job of covering platforms, especially on Battlefield. Like, Ooh, the Battlefield platforms are super small. Yeah, so, yes. yes, well space, well space. Squirrel's really good at getting right in Sephiroth's place as they're small. And that forward tilt. It really opens a lot of doors for them. Sephiroth has a lot of trouble dealing with characters that are small and just like up close like that. Very fast characters. Yeah, Sephiroth can, can, can get kind of bullied with frame data. Like if your character just has really good frame data like Squirtle does, it can be kind of hard. But at the same time, like, it's one of the reasons that I think Sephiroth really isn't, like you don't master with this character. You don't just like, up, like randomly hit buttons as a really solid water gun ends up um, make, putting putting Zane in a unrecoverable situation. Like, like Sephiroth, you just kind of, you move and set up the spacing everywhere, but you can't just be hitting buttons because Sephiroth has way too much end lag to be random, but haphazardly doing that. Yeah, Noku could probably just go Squirtle for the rest of this, uh, this game right here and take it, as Zane is having a little trouble trying to deal with it. Oh, the recovery from deep. Down there, nice, very, very good tool to cover that ledge. Re grabbing is super dangerous there, but Noku gets away right. with it. Sephiroth is super light. It is about kill percent. Uh, Zane wants to set up the shadow flare and really make it make Noku feel the pressure from that, but they just don't seem to be able to like let it land. They're not able to get it to land. Noku's really content to press buttons in Sephiroth's face and to dare him to dare him to do something about it. Yeah, we, we got those. Very dangerous move. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> Thank for the sub, Papa Rick. Me we too. Miss you too. Everyone everyone gotta stay safe in these times. Whoa, that's dangerous. Oh, these nares. Nice combo. Switch to get out of there. Oh, 153. This could be a good comeback. The win could expire. There oh, Thrust gonna take it, yeah. Because that was getting really dangerous. Noku's basically at kill percent at 64 mm. to to the right setup or the right trap. But having switching to Charizard, making sure he's got that kill throw on deck, and a Zane who's 150, your kind of instinct reaction, your gut reaction is to shield. And oh, no yeah. Noku called that up super hard. Can't stand the ledge for too long either. Like anything 
like that could kill. It's just, yeah. it just feels a little hard for Sephiroth. Yeah, the kind different, of getting... the, but... the different things you get to like to do to fight this matchup, as this character could put three matchups on you at the same time. You got these different stuff to play. You can get pushed off like that, you get spiked by a down air, you get throw killed, you get ledge trapped by a flamethrower. A lot of stuff to deal with with Sephiroth. I think, like, part of the matchup might be, like, how does Zane force Noku to get off of Squirtle? Because Charizard and Ivysaur, at least in Sephiroth's playbook, have a lot of the same counterplay. But and we don't get we don't get the Sephiroth no more. It's time for it's time for the dog and the duck to make their first appearance into in this bracket. Oh, good damage. Ping ping ping. Alright, so this character at least has like a button or so. Just to help them get out of situations like what Squirtle's trying to put them in. So this also forces uh, Noku to switch to Ivysaur like really fast. Yeah, Duck Hunt absolutely has like a button faster than frame seven. So mm. <laughs> he can actually contest or at the very least combo break when he needs to. And Ivysaur naturally does the best against zoners. So we'll see how uh, Noku is able to ma manage his comeback with Charizard. He has to. Oh, that was okay. such a good situation for Zane. Yeah, they could just put Can out, watch Hybe Sword die to it. <laughs> or try to fight it. Like, this is a very good runaway, like as this looks like one of Pokemon trainers like bigger weaknesses, like oh they're not letting me play. <laughs> so I gotta go to Ivy Sword and pray that they get hit by this down air or this razor leaf. It's forward air. I'm, I'm still of the opinion, while Squirtle has the highest ceiling of all the Pokemon and Charizard, he's got plenty of potential. Ivysaur being the most consistent really matters in a meta where like projectiles and zoning are super strong. And whether it be with a sword or in the case of Duck Hunt with all of the stuff he ends up littering the screen with, the gunmen, the clay pigeons, the cans. That clay pigeon is such a good thing for Duck Hunt to have. Like, like, even if they get hit, they still get hit by that. It's ridiculous. And they come off of it. <laughs> manually activated. Like, everything Duck Hunt has is basically manually activated, which puts a lot of strain that... on the player. But Zane, he massively finds his way through it and manages the character to their fullest potential. Yeah. Zane, Duck Hunt, man. Big damage? Oh, okay. Squirtle. Can just missing. Just little gunman, plus the can, clay pigeon. There you go. And Where the forward go? smash. Can covers high. Gunman covers mid range. Duck hunt is there that you have to constantly worry about. Do you time <laughs> a neutral get up? Do you roll and take the shot? What's what's the play? The answer Noku originally found was Zane's answer for him, which was just to die. <laughs> yeah. Covering that neutral getup too is just wow. I probably would have dragged them into the the blast zone too off a of roll. If they tried to the roll. Depending on when he released it, yeah. Yeah. If uh, or when Zane when Zane rather released the the shot because if he if they timed it late, then he could have caught roll, but. Each shot is its own individual hitbox. They're not one fully extended thing. They're kind of meant to combo into to link together. But if he, if uh, if Noku rolls through mm -hmm. after the first one activates, then he might be able to get past the three individual shots. Duck Hunt's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like, I wouldn't say this character is a zoner. I'd say this character is more set up. Yeah. Cause it looks like the character's putting you through it <laughs> when that can's on the screen. It's just like, all right, can, jump, back air, clay pigeon, call guy. Deal with one of these things first and maybe you may get to hit me. <laughs> He's got his duck hunt got their five homies on speed dial. Like, yo, you owe me a favor. <laughs> he got the squad. <laughs> the squad's on deck. Yeah. Right, oh, finally an opening. 
That's a little damage from Noku. Oh, Devin, names, names flipped. All right, all right. There we go. There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, trying to find the opening with Squirtle is probably a key here. Is it a little faster than Ivy? Ivy has probably a limited range of recovery when dealing with this character off stage. I mean, the tether is nice and all, but then... I guess uh, Zane a lot more time to set up on the stage. Oh, didn't get killed. Wow, just missing the one frame. Yeah, he needs Noku needs to get Ivy Sword back on stage. Like that's where they're going to be most effective. Like Squirtle can, Squirtle can edge guard, and so can Charizard. But Ivy Sword favors much better in neutral and in ledge trapping. And that Watch strength is coming through. out. Chooses to say Charizard for the heavy. Survival ability is important. This character can kill you any moment. The Nair! Wow, Nair Very that low. It's dead. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nowhere to go. No hitbox on that recovery. Charizard Ooh. is free to drop down with a Nair or whatever button he so chooses. Nice choice to fight the can, but tries to go right through it and dies for it. That was interesting. An interesting yeah. choice. Yeah. Candos 13. <laughs> the pigeons. <laughs> the pigeons do more. Everything's everything's coming out of the bag. Ooh, the reverse can. Uh, getting just a little bit antsy every time. Down air? Oh, that would have been a sick combo, but the Pokemon change saved their life. Nair, Nair? Oh, Ooh, okay. Down, falling down air. Oh, he went with the Nair instead, but Oh, he scared him. Cover. Yeah, scared him. It's situations like those that Noku needs to needed to take a full advantage of because he was getting out he was getting out damaged in just the raw amount of interaction. Ooh, that was a nice Vimo cancel. A little tether cancel. Right, so Noku's up now. Zane has to work a little bit harder here. For how long? Uh, oh, the can dribbling and down throw. That Pokemon switch is so clutch. It's helping a lot and. Still makes Charizard like a big target against Noku though. I mean against Zane. Is it a lot more easier to kill? Frame one on Stailing Air Dodge, like that that would have been a combo on basically any other character. Uh oh. Oh clay pigeon combos? Oh he's at 99! That's good. What Four happened? switch. Clay pigeon combos. Oh the settle! Oh. Man, that, that final good. stock disappeared. Clay Pigeon. Right. And the extension on the platforms, too. Zane just had everything under wraps as soon as he took Noku's second stock. They're like, oh, I'm down, bet. Let me just get this, this, this combo to 90 real quick and then do this lead setup. Oh, you're dead. Oh, he dashed right into it, too. Uh... Very rough situation for Noku to get out of. Things were looking so bright too. Like he made sure to get the get the edge guards going. Like this second stock was like he's a guru. Oh wait, uh, yeah, Noku dies here first. But this the second yes. stock, the second stock, this one. This was super good. He started at ten and gets nared. No jump, pushing his advantage. Chases them. Coverage. Yes, yes, very good. Of Noku there, but Zane had control in the end. Getting this kill real quick off this gunner setup. To get and then getting that 90. That 90 was so, so insane. You ever kill a character in three hits in this game? Uh, I have. You should. 